Hi, my name is Nadine Marassi here at the University of Idaho 18th Annual Engineering Expo, and I'm here with the Palouse Clearwater team. So guys, tell me about your project. Uh, our, our project is a sustainable energy reform for the Palouse Clearwater uh, Environmental Institute Nature Center, and we wanted to design a heating and cooling system as well as an electricity production system that produced uh, electricity for their site so that they could uh, they could uh, reduce energy that they they used for for heating as well as uh, produce all the electricity that they needed for the site and our design included a ground source heat pump which utilizes heat from the ground in order to heat during the winter and we also included a solar based system for electricity production in which uh, 100 and 150 solar panels would produce electricity for their site. All right, so were there any big challenges when working on this project? Uh, I think the biggest challenge was actually defining the project because we had uh, we were, we were given a really open-ended project. We were given the uh, nature center that the, the uh, Palouse Clearwater Environmental Institute's facility buildings, they call it the nature center. Um, we we're basically given these facility buildings and then asked how can we improve their energy, their energy, uh, their energy budget. Um, so really a lot of our project was spent uh, defining, defining how we were going to improve their energy budget. And one of the ways, like he mentioned, was, was, in, was introducing a, a heating and cooling system for their, for their facility buildings and also introducing an uh, electrical production system, which we based on, on solar panels. All right, so is this an example of one of the solar power this or is solar an, panels? This is an example of, of not a solar panel that would be installed out there. This is an example of a solar panel. Um, it, gather, it gathers solar radiation from, um, uh, from the sun and converts that into uh, electricity that we can use in our homes. All right, so were there any specific classes that really helped you guys out with this project? Yeah, we took it. We took it, um, a few classes that. Uh, some of our some of our bioprocessing classes we're all biological and agricultural engineering majors um, and we we took some classes that really taught us fundamentals that that helped us with this project especially with the ground source heat pump um, we didn't have as many classes based in the solar production so we had to learn a lot of that during the project and not in class all right so um do you guys see a future in this or any way that you can apply it to the future of your engineering career um, I, I specifically am, am, am starting graduate work in, in environmental engineering, so I, can, I could see myself uh, definitely working on a, on a project like this again. We, uh, it's, it's the, technolo the technology that, that is emerging in, in, these, in these areas is, is really promising, and, and, any, and any, um, anybody working in, envir in an environmental engineering job could probably, be, probably expect to be working with this sort of technology in the future. Okay, um, so did you guys have any future applications or what was the most valuable thing that you guys learned from this project? Uh, we felt that the information that our project was based on get higher and non-renewable fuels are reducing. We want to uh, increase the production of sustainable energy and particularly solar. Uh, so. Uh, in, uh, designing a system for a nonprofit organization based on educating the community we think is valuable so that more people will consider installing uh, ground source heat pumps when they install buildings for uh, efficient heating as well as installing electric uh, or solar panels when they uh, when they build uh, their homes so that they can have their own reliable uh, electricity production so that uh, they can be both self-sustaining as well as environmentally friendly. All right, so do you guys have any future advice for seniors or maybe people who are considering going into biological engineering and agricultural? I would, I would consider going into, a, definitely going into a major that, that suited that. Um, but that's not necessarily biological and agricultural engineering. There's a lot of applications of, of this sort of technology in the other engineering majors here at the university. Um, a, lot of, a, lot of the, a lot of the programs at the university are dealing with this, this idea of sustainable energy. Um, it's really the way of the future for this university. All right. 
Very cool. Well, um, thank you very much. It sounds like a great project. And again, at the 18th Annual Engineering Expo, stay tuned for more projects.